Welcome to episode 12 of the Connecticut Wedding Channel. My name is Jim Collins and I'm the owner of Collins Entertainment. If you're enjoying the content of the show, please subscribe to the Connecticut Wedding Channel on YouTube or find us on Facebook under the same name and ask to join the group. Be sure to share our episodes there as well. Joining us on our show today is Gail Belleville from the Avon Farms Hotel. Gail, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you, Jim. I really appreciate the opportunity to share our great property with uh, you, I know you've been here before, so you know what a great place we have here, but also to everybody else that takes the time to take a look at this. We're going to take a sneak peek at uh, Avon Old Farms right now. As a matter of fact, I'm really excited to share this. So here's some actual footage. So this is Brandon and Brittany. And this wedding was exactly where I just mentioned, at the Pergola location. Uh, Brittany got ready here. The wedding is taking place in September, Labor Day weekend. Uh, it turned out to be a really beautiful day that weekend. Many times, uh, and, and it, for anyone that sees this video, it's very emotional, a lot of uh, very heartfelt message that comes into play. This is the front of the hotel here that and this is our big atrium lobby entrance here. That's beautiful. The entrance way is beautiful. And I know there's a lot of pictures that are, are taken with the wedding party and the bride and groom right in that area too. It's These are just, typical looks that you yeah. see nowadays, especially in our bridal suite. And that's where Brittany is in the bridal suite. And I tell people when they take a look at it, all empty. It's filled with hair and makeup I, you know, I, items. It's filled with champagne. And this is what today's bride wants. She wants to be getting ready in the same place that she's gonna be, sipping champagne, having her you know, bridal party and her family around her. And a uh, sister with a baby, all of these things are possible in a hotel setting where you're just comfortable getting ready. And that is the bridal suite that you see. All of these pictures that they took are on our uh, are on our property. This I, that picture right there, I think, is the big tree down the street. But this is all the backyard of our property. Once the leaves fill in, it's a very private setting back here, and many many people like to have their photos here. That's our bridge. She walked over to get up to the ceremony site. Uh, the thank you message that ends up being part of the thank you card at the end. Very, very nice. That's beautiful. So lots of photo opportunities on this on this site for sure. The thing about Brittany in that particular wedding, uh, Brittany had a lot of uh, Pinterest boards going and a lot of unique ideas that she put together. And I think our facility were very, very accommodating. We really make your Pinterest ideas come true. And that, that translates whether you're having a whole lot of things that you're doing or you're trying to keep it simple. And I think the beauty of our location is we're a neutral palette, we're very, very intimate feeling, and it makes all of those things pop out in terms of you bringing them and us executing it the way that you're, you're trying to envision it when you make all these plans to begin with. Yeah, absolutely. And going back to just uh, talking about the different areas for couples to just make it all inclusive and, and simpler for them to uh, have their celebration there in the ceremony location, the cocktail, the reception area, all very close together and accessible. And, and just the beautiful rustic surroundings of the facilities. Gail, tell me some general questions that couples, when they visit and they're considering a venue, what are they asking you when they visit with you? Well, one of the first questions that is very typical is, can they have a ceremony on site? So they want to see a ceremony location so everything's all inclusive in one place. That seems to be very on the high priority list today. And the second thing that goes along with that is, what is plan B if it's raining? So everybody has the vision of, I want to be outdoors, and I'm going to walk down the aisle. It's going to be beautiful but what if it rains? And so knowing that there is a plan B that's beautiful, and in our case here, we have a plan C that is going to be just as beautiful as the initial thought process, I think is one of the main questions that people ask. 
And one of the big questions today is, are, am I the only bride that will be there that day? Am I the only wedding that you'll be focusing on that day? That's huge. And, and a couple's eyes, especially for a bride too, who's considering different venues, they want to feel rest assured that the focus is on them and, and that they don't have to worry about that. And not only that, having that plan B, I, I would think you said the plan C, but the having that plan B, a lot of couples don't think about that part when they're first considering venues. Uh, they'll think, oh, we're going to have a ceremony outside as planned, but they don't think about inclement weather. So having that plan B, I'm sure makes them feel rest assured that. And having plan B and also having the team to support the change in plans, that's also important to know that you have a team in place that is willing to go the extra mile and, and get, get your vision in a shorter period of time. So in other words, you don't have to decide at 7 a.m. in the morning, we can kind of see how the day plays out and our team is willing to set up in two locations to make sure that we are getting you every opportunity to have it be the way that you want. And if the opportunity is there, we are gonna go for it and we're gonna make it happen. And right behind you there, I noticed that you have the gazebo location and that's where the ceremonies take place. Uh, and it's beautiful and, and the walkway up the hill there and it's, and it's nice and it's, it's nice and close to where the cocktail will be in the reception area too. So it makes a very smooth transition for friends and family that are there. Very smooth transition and in addition to the gazebo, we also have a sort of wisteria covered pergola out there and kind of the way the rustic idea has come into play in the past few years, that also is a very lovely location that people tend to go to as well if they like the rustic look if there it's the middle of the summer and the day is very hot it can provide a very shaded look as well so we have more than just the gazebo and that traditional feel outdoors and then everything transitioning from the ceremony into the cocktail hour into the reception is of course makes it fantastic so that your guests while they're at cocktail hour can also see that your your bride and groom are right there. So if they're not somewhere else, like looking at their watch, where are they? They're right here on the property. All right, Gail, so tell me just about some experiences you've had with couples and when there was a, uh, a challenge that was faced and how the team came together and helped a couple through this challenge. Well, one challenge that comes to mind has to do with the ceremony. And I had a bride that was just really, really wanted to be outside. This was October. Mm -hmm. And we had had a very rainy period leading up to the day of the wedding. So the actual day of the wedding was cloudy, but dry. Outside was very muddy. It was just very, uh, the ground was wet. And she really, really had her heart set on being outside. So much so that it seemed like that would ruin the day if she wasn't able to be there. So we... We kind of all came together and thought outside the box and we ended up having an absolutely beautiful ceremony right on our outdoor patio space. So she walked, you know, through the, the glass room and she went right outside onto the patio and it was absolutely beautiful. Her photos came out great, as you know, in the cloudy days, it, sometimes photos are much better. And, um, and we sort of saved the day that way just by being willing to listen and doing what we could and making that that vision come true. It's really nice to hear how well you, you work with these couples. And when um, you're working with people and families and they're in the hotel, there's a lot of things that come up sure. that are just beyond anyone's control that have mm -hmm. to do with their family. And so being in a hotel setting really adds that dimension that we can help the rest of their, you know, whatever is happening that day to really make everything go smoothly. Right, right. So at Collins Entertainment, what I do is I send along an itinerary timeline of just the, the flow of the day to facilities, photographers, videographers, and make sure that just make sure everyone's on the same page and then just have that communication uh, just to make sure that it looks okay. And getting that information 60 days in advance allows everybody to come together and say, well, maybe it's a better idea to kind of shift this to another time. Uh, but most importantly, especially when I meet with couples, I understand 
how expensive it is for all the money that they're putting into dinner and lunch. So it's a very important that food comes out hot and that things happen in a timely fashion and when they're supposed to happen. But not only that, that just everybody knows what's happening next. So if there's cake cutting, and, and that's an important thing to know, and when that's going to happen, I'm sure your experience with vendors to um, not have a DJ that's uh, announcing cake cutting at the wrong moments when you're not ready to bring that out and setting that moment up at the wrong time and that having that timeline so everybody knows exactly what's going to happen next and having that communication and, and just being able to talk behind the scenes. And, and that's what I do as an MC as well is, is make sure that I'm, I'm talking to you, Gail, or anyone else on the team working that day of to ensure that things like that don't happen. Well, a couple things that you just said that stick out. Timeline is definitely the buzzword today. So everyone has a timeline. That's, that's sort of the new thing. And again, with everything being so expensive, it's important that the communication is there with all the vendors. Yes. And that the timeline is sort of being, you know, followed through, so to speak. So we really appreciate it when there is a DJ and photographer who have taken the time to give their timeline in advance some thought and letting the couple decide this works for me, this doesn't work for me based on whatever the speeches are. As you know, today's world, there's a lot of speeches and they tend to sometimes run away from people mm -hmm. and that really it eats into the whole experience. But here, the, what I can comment to is our team is really flexible and we treat our vendors that come here very importantly. They're just as important because it's all of us together that are making that couple's vision come true. It's all of us together that are making the memorable day. And so we do work with all the vendors to make sure that that experience is going to happen. And sometimes, you know, things come up that you can't follow the timeline per se. And I can tell you that our, our back of the house kitchen staff, they are amazing. Mm -hmm. Consistently, what people say here is the food is amazing. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect to have such great food at a wedding. I didn't expect to have such great food at a banquet. And our team, as far as back of the house, always comes, always comes through. So backing up a little bit and how everybody has to come together to make this vision a reality and, and a successful outcome for the couples is so important. So just having everybody on the same page. Sometimes your... couples don't realize how important the vendors that you have and the people that you, um, you know, that are there the day of your event really impact the ultimate experience. That those people on the team really make a difference and can impact your memorable experience. We're all working very hard with our couples. That's Absolutely. <laughs> what I love about this facility and what everyone seems to capture in their messages after they've been here is just the, the dimensional feel of being in a hotel that mm. you don't have to shuttle your gas from here to here. That's huge. That your, yeah. your grandmother, your sister's you know, baby can be down the hall and have those people be truly present at the wedding itself without, you know, they have to leave early or people have to watch for the shuttle. We have a bar on property, uh, stays open beyond the time period of the wedding itself, so the guests don't have to go home. They can still end the night with a, you know, with another beer, with a cup of tea, whatever, whatever is important to you at that moment and kind of recap the day and relish the experience that you've just had. And so that's really what we have to offer here. Our facility, many people are surprised at the beautiful grounds that are here that they've never seen before. And we have a lot of character. So we're, we're not just a cookie cutter sort of mm. wedding facility. It yeah. is a place with character and dimension. And uh, that's what's great about it. Yeah, I think that's why couples love it so much. And, um, and I think it's super convenient too, just as you mentioned, just having a place where guests can stay and they, they don't have to worry about the shuttles or the MC or entertainer announcing that the shuttle has arrived uh, for the guests, the first shuttle and having that anxious feeling come over the couples basically going, oh no, now some guests might leave, but it's, it's all in one place and, and very convenient. Especially if you have guests that are coming from out of town, but even yeah. not, 
just the fact that your guest can relax and stay over if they choose to. So we, have a, we have a great wedding package, uh, all inclusive. So we include the bar and the champagne toast and we include the hors d'oeuvres. We include a wedding cake. We have three vendors that are connected with us in terms of wedding cake that you pick out the style and the kind of cake that you wanna have. We include a really great menu. As I said, our chef and our team in the back of the house are absolutely amazing on a consistent basis. And uh, we offer a tasting for people to come in to make, make sure that they get the exact menu that they wanna have. And where our pricing is very competitive, we put a lot of energy and effort into what we offer. And um, we also leave you with a little bit of the ability to bring in your own cookies if you wanna bring them in from a, a bakery, if you wanna bring in your s'mores. We have a couple of fire pits out on our back patio and we've got outdoor heaters. So we try to give that opportunity for people to have their own sort of spin on making it personalized and, and any of those ethnic things that you want to incorporate into the day itself. So there are some couples that I work with who really want a, a nice send off if their photographer's still there at the end of the night. And sometimes even if they're not there, uh, some couples like to do sparkler send offs. Do you offer a sparkler send off if a couple wants that? Well, we've had many people do the sparkler send off. Uh, New Year's Eve this past year, we did have the sparklers. Everybody went outside and sort of called in, you know, the countdown 10, 9, 8, and then all had their sparklers lit. And, and that was kind of a, you know, a fun, exciting moment. Last year, 4th of July, we did a sparkler send off. So right in the back of our patio that exits the glass room, we have a bridge right there. And so many times a couple will run through the, the people, you know, on the bridge with the sparklers. Uh, same at the front of the building. That's another opportunity for people to be lining with the sparklers and then the couple can come through. Mm -hmm. It's about the photo op. It's really about, you know, so I think sometimes it makes sense as to when you're going to have a sparkler send off, meaning again, it's July 4th, it's the summer, it's New Year's Eve, it's something that sort of, you know, works around a sparkler, you know, meaning for you in some way. Uh, Gail Belvo, everybody, from the Avon Old Farms Hotel, thank you so much for coming on the show. And thank you so much for having us. I uh, really appreciate sharing our property today. Gail, what's the best way for couples to get in touch with you and your team? The very best way for me is on email. So we all work on email today. And, and so weddings at avonoldfarmshotel.com is my email. Certainly people can call in to our main hotel and be, you know, rooted back up to the sales office and any of the sales team can connect with me as well on voicemail. I spend a lot of time with people, so not always at my desk. People get to know when I'm going to be there, so email really works the best. Okay, great. And also, I'll include the information too for the webpage for any couples and want to see any pictures anything along those lines. So thank you once again. So if you're feeling overwhelmed about the process of selecting your vendors or just need great information about wedding professionals in general, tune in again next week. We hope this has been a great resource for you. And remember, all of this is put together for you because your event matters. Until next time, I'm Jim Collins. Thanks for watching.